Hi guys, Paul from Intensive Scale Modeler, another book review for you today. This is the new uh, AK Interactive FAQ Aircraft Scale Modeling book. Um, big fan of the FAQ books, got all the armor ones, or both of them, a thicker painting one. There was an older aircraft one from years ago that I've always searched for, missed out a couple of times, and so glad that they finally re-released a brand new one. Not re-released, they've released a brand new one. Uh, I've had this now for about a week, had a good look through, uh, already used a couple of techniques, um, so good to find something new to use, and overall it just looks a great book. It's a big thick book, they're about 40 odd pounds I think, uh, not in weight, in price, and um, there's a lot of information in there, from basic or to a bit more experienced as well. So we open it up, have a look, it's a softback book, and uh, typically it's going to have AK Interactive uh, advertising in there because it'd be stupid not to use it for that but overall um, it's fairly ad free to be fair so a bit of information there you got thanks to uh, a little bit of a prologue from the uh, the author the guy who wrote all this as you can see there's index there's a lot of information in there uh, assembly preparation materials painting guide techniques don't know if for techniques there or techniques not sure interior exterior details camouflage painting and weathering Special finishes and markings, scenes and gallery as well, and the introduction. So, a lot of information in there. Introduction. This is covering through uh, the author's background, what he likes to do, painting styles, just basically an overview onto assembly, preparation, and materials. So, basic tools, techniques, gluing, etc., right through to rescribing. Panel lines, rivet, stretch skin, flight control surfaces, resin and metal parts. It's always good to read, uh, read about. Wiring, canopies. I did look at this from my back phone canopy on my sea fire. Polishing them. Scratch building. Vac form. So I think it's about making your own as well, which is quite handy. Working with vac form canopies. Literally just worked on this myself and did find this very handy. So a lot of basic information on some more. Um, so, uh, advanced techniques, position lights, so engraved ones, ones cut out, very good using the diesel tape, that was a good technique, I got distracted then reading it, onto antennas, control brace, braces and cables, scratch materials and tools, and then onto paint guides, so for your basic tools, your very basic techniques, Onto painting, so go through primers, paints, thinners, acrylics, lacquer base, enamels, oils, metallic colours, watercolour pencils, transparent inks, so a lot of information there as well. Products for effects, so again, as you can see, it's very AK uh, heavy, which it's going to be. Uh, onto their washes, their waxes, varnishes, thinners, nice to see that they do offer um, other manufacturers stuff in there as well. We need to get some UMP stuff in here, though, by the look of it. Airbrushing, airbrushing techniques, brushes, brushing techniques, and then we're on to techniques themselves. So I don't know if that techniques was supposed to be techniques, I'm not sure. So you got priming, how to prime, paneling, so adding different panel effects, uh, panel pre-shading, so this is a good technique. Give all the panels a different colour, then lightly mist over it with a base colour so that it fades in. Let's give it a, an overall view, good little touch. Appreciating by lines, using different colours, uh, panelling with tape, which I do all the time. Just looking at the technique, well I kind of do, different technique. Camouflage with an airbrush, aerial cam airbrushing. Not sure what that's all about. But yeah, there's still some bits I haven't read in this, onto mottling, so a lot of models hate mottling. Panel lighting, uh, Light shadows, that's an awesome effect, that's a beautiful looking wing there, very very nice. Onto your decals, laying them down. So like I say, it covers basic techniques and more advanced and seems to be intermingled through. The index is great, if there's something you know specific you want to look at, go to the front, you should be able to find it. And rather than just giving one, uh, so you're looking at canopies like we went through, rather than just giving one type of canopy, It'll give you kit ones, vac forms, scratch bills. It, it gives you a few options. And it's the same with panel liners, panel lines, marking, washes. It gives more than just one technique, which is really nice to see. As you can see onto fluids, filters. It's very, very in-depth where it goes, streaking effects. And hopefully, if you get it, it should help 
with your technique, certainly with mine. We're not all too uh, too old or experienced to learn new stuff, so I always welcome books. I've got a huge book collection now, um, and I often glean new information from them. Chips and scratches onto watercolour pencils. Um, this is something I want to try. I only own a prismatic um, silver pencil. Quite to get some of these um, because different colours and have all different effects. It does look a very good um, technique, something I definitely like to look into. Scratches by chips and brush with a sharp knife with a mask using masculine solution. Uh, sponge chipping, uh, hairspray chipping. So, as you can see, it does give you a lot of different techniques. There's a lot of options to do specific techniques. We skip through it a little bit because we're going to, it's like nearly 400 pages long, we're going to be here all day. Uh, instrument panels, so again, wiring them up, very, very nice, that's an awesome looking instrument panel. Uh, cockpits, World War II, step by step, Japanese, English, German, US, so again, very, very nice, all the way through. Jet Aid, Soviet, British, German, Japanese. US again, so it gives you all the different techniques, keep going through, very very good, the jet aids again, so different stages, different techniques, uh, pilots, structures, props, spinners, you name it, it is in here, it just looks absolutely brilliant, we'll just have a quick flick through, you'll see some of the stuff, so flight control surfaces, metal weathering, invasion stripes, didn't have this myself, but still interested to have a look. This is the same technique I did, just a little bit different. Uh, that's special finishes and markings. All the way through to where some of the builds are starting to come together now. Natural metal finish. US Jet Navy scheme. German. So you've got a lot of different options. US schemes, British schemes, Japanese, World War II engines. As you can see, beautiful work. Really is high quality work. World War One, German crosses, paint masks, walkways, exhaust. That's the one technique I did use. I used that one the other day. I used that on my Sea Fire, and it came out very well. Very simple. Two different colours of paint and a wash, and that's it. Very very simple. Very very easy. Um, so missiles, weapons, bombs, wheel bays landing gear, you name it, it's in here, very very in depth onto your uh, different kind of paints, finishes, checkerboards uh, creating a scene, so dio bases, making a landing deck pre-bought and handmade, desert terrain concrete apron, I've actually made one of those myself a while back vehicles, and then the gallery, and some of the work in this gallery oh my god, it is stunning, we'll have a quick look through the gallery you got Skyhawk, I think it was a P-51, yeah, sorry it's an F-51, late war, well not even late war, just a late P-51, um, fantastic looking plane, oh, excellent camo scheme on there, very very nice, Skyhawk, I think stunning, have a bit of reloading by the look of it, very very nice, Avenger, the level of work is just mind bogglingly good, Mitchell, Marauder, ME109, that's very very nice as well, 109G6, HE219, that's really nice, fantastic, 109G10, there's a lot of 109s in here, the Buccaneer, that's stunning, that looks absolutely beautiful there, very nice, it's just a lot a very nice work, that Phantom's nice, it's, it's just top class book, highly recommended, I've had it for a week or so now and I keep picking it up, plumbing through it and I'm impressed every single time I pick it up, it just looks absolutely stunning, looks really really good, Spitfire, that's beautiful, really nice spit, onto some more unusual aircraft, MiG-21, P-39, P-40, P-51B, Another P-51B, that's nice. The Raiden. Wellington, SP-2, Spitfire Mark 1. Like I say, level of work, outstanding Mark 5. A Stuka. Tonka, I hadn't seen that one before, that's nice as well. 
Very, very nice. Brandenburg. And a mosquito, which is what I'll be building myself very soon. Very, very nice. Overall, highly recommended kit. Um, it's not too AK heavy, which is what I do like about AK. They do put the manufacturers in there. Obviously, there is some of their stuff in there. They're going to showcase it, of course they are. But overall, books, 400 odd pages long. 384, in fact. So it's a big, big book. There's a lot of information in there, as you've seen. I couldn't go through it all, unfortunately. But it gives you an idea of what's in there. And highly, highly recommended. If you're an aircraft fan, or new to it especially, £40 may seem a lot of money, but it is basically just an average price of a kit. Of a decent kit. So, forgo the kit, buy this. And uh, it will help with your modelling immensely. So there you go. So this is AK Interactors, FAQ Aircraft Scale Modelling Book. Highly recommended by me. I'm going to enjoy reading this. Um, it's going to come useful, as all my FAQ do books. FAQ books do, rather. Um, so, like I say, highly recommended. So there you go. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope I didn't bore you too much. Book reviews, oh, um, they just always seem to me like a boring people because it's just waffling through a book. But I like to show the books. Uh, I really do like books. The internet's great, but you can't beat books. Um, so, there you go. So, catch you later, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.